Now I'm gonna say this one time for you, and that's my word. We rock a shot, then I find you through the head, then burn. The contribution is good. You add water to fuck. All right, so this is on um, distance versus displacement. And I started this lesson out, if you missed it, with kind of a, a core idea that it describes our main two vocab words. If we watch uh, this kind of race going on here, so let's say we're in a blimp above and uh, we're watching this happen. And the race goes around and around and around. Get tired, we can finish, we can finish, we can do it. And stop. So, the question is, how far did the runner really go? Really? I mean, if this is before and this is after, how far did the runner really go? Some people said 400 meters. Some people said, far less people said, well, the runner didn't go anywhere. Because they started where they finished. And they're both right, because this marks the difference between the two main ideas. So on this lesson, we're going to clarify the difference between distance and displacement that was just explained. And we're going to identify a quick list of scalar and vector quantities. So the first thing, um, if this is the first time you're doing this, is on 15. Our notes are vector. These are things with magnitude or size. Think things you can measure that also have direction, like force. You're pushing this way on a box, and maybe somebody's pushing that way. How hard you push matters, the magnitude, but also the direction you push matters. So force is a vector, it has an arrow. Um, scalar are things with magnitude or size only like liters, sorry, volume. All right, if you have one liter of soda, there's no direction. It's just soda. Um, or energy. All right, if you have a battery, there's no direction, it's just energy. And the thing is, vectors can cancel, like we see here, but scalar things like energy always add up. Now we have twice as much energy. Three times. The more batteries, the more energy. The more water we put in, the more water. It doesn't cancel, they just add up. All right, so our definitions. Now I'm gonna go through this quickly because you can pause the teacher. A scalar quantity of total distance traveled and the formula for distance is distance total equals d1 plus d2 plus d3. So if someone walks one meter and then two meters and then three meters down, one plus two plus three equals five meters. Distance, you just add it up. Direction doesn't matter. Displacement, on the other hand, is a vector quantity. It's the net change in distance traveled from where you start to where you finish. So in the path I drew before, here's the starting position, here's the final position, and that black line represents displacement. And we usually draw displacement with an X. The formula for displacement is as follows. Displacement equals change in distance. So this means change. The triangle means change. Or dis final position, right here, minus the initial position. The difference between finishing point and starting point. And the picture that I had everybody focus on, I had you draw this. Uh, one line we'll call this distance final distance initial distance final so distance final means where did you end initial means distance initial means where did you start 
and then this line I'm going to grab right here. Let's do it in a different color. This is displacement. Oops. Displacement. And this is your total distance. The path is your distance. The difference between the two points is your displacement. So here's a question. Try this. Solve on this question for distance and displacement. Here's your answer. Pause if you're not ready. So if you travel around the world, there's about 40,000 kilometers. Walk on a plane, fly around the planet, finish where you start. Well, the distance is how far did you really go. Displacement start to finish is zero. So that's an example of how to demonstrate the difference between the two. Your test question should be, uh, I don't have it, okay. Your test question will be, one question will be to tell me the difference between distance and displacement and come up with your own example and you can have a diagram or a picture to go along with it.